Starting with the bow sprit, it was completely rebuilt last year. Has two part epoxy paint on it. All the varnish was done a year ago. Uh, this is the external uh, view. You can see the dinghy on the side, and you can see the new paint on the brow sprit. Hull is in great shape. Very thick and very durable hull. The masts are isomat masts. They run about forty-three thousand dollars if you get them shipped from France, which is where these came from. Uh, back here in the back storage area, we have a stainless steel stove that is going to be going into the galley, and there is a large lazarette as well. Moving forward into the cockpit area, all of the wood on the front and the back section of the cockpit area has been completely redone from scratch. All of the winches uh, in the cockpit area are all bronze. And as you can see, the varnish in the cockpit is in great shape, as it would be is just being done. The uh, grill you see here can be moved anywhere on the boat that there is a handrail. It is designed to fit directly underneath any of the handrails. Uh, we have a great windlass. It's very powerful and is a one-way windlass. For ground tackle, we have two anchors, 300 feet of road on one, 200 on the other, and 20 feet of chain on each. This is the pole pit area. All of the rigging is in great shape. And this is the aft cabin, which can be entered from the aft section of the cockpit or the front section through the engine room. Uh, all of the cabins have been redone. They were done about two years ago and they have been kept up since. This is a very large locker in the back right here. It is completely open on the inside and there's a small locker as you can see the door right there by the blue little storage cabinet. As we pan down here you can see the blue storage area right there and the locker door. This is the engine room starboard side storage area. Uh, this is the rebuilt motor. It is completely rebuilt inside and out new rings, new seals, new bearings throughout the engine. Uh, it's a brand new exhaust system. The uh, transmission right here is a remanufactured transmission. It is new as of last year. The uh, wiring in the boat is all new. Uh, this is all brand new wiring right here that you're looking at new breakers and panels. All the hoses are new as well and this is the companion entrance way through the engine room to the aft cabin to the forward cabins. Uh, this is coming down from the forward entrance hatch from the cockpit uh, into the galley settee area. All of the cushions are brand new, uh, about four or five months old now. The stove right there is in great shape, and this is a AC refrigerator freezer. The stove is in great shape, but we do have a stainless steel stove that is being stored uh, on top of the lazarette in the back uh, that's going in. The brand new control panel, or breaker panel. Uh, pretty much everything you see on the boat is going to go with the boat except for our personal gear. All of the doors are custom carved. Uh, this was one of the special things they did with uh, Formosas or most Formosas. We were lucky enough to have these great, beautiful doors. Uh, the little area right here in the mid-berth uh, does slide out and makes a full-size bed. Portholes on the port and the starboard side inside the uh, head as well. 
Uh, the door to your left is the head, and we'll be headed in there in just a second. Plenty of storage, tons of storage on this boat. And this is the head. It has a porta -pot porta potty head. It's great for being in the harbor because in the harbors you're not allowed to use your toilets unless you have the holding tanks and get them pumped out. And most harbors make it really difficult to do a pump out. It is a completely separate shower and toilet area. Again, all water and water system components are new. All new hoses, the water tanks, the water pumps, the sump pumps, all of that is new. This is the uh, tool storage area cabinet. It works great, holds plenty of tools. And moving into the V-Berth, this is a completely custom built V-Berth. Uh, I built it less than a year ago. And it had, does have some really nice lighting, kind of gets you in a mood for workstation or gaming, whatever you like to do. Uh, it was built as more of a computer workstation area. The uh, desk that the computer sits on is very, very, very strong. It can hold a massive amount of weight. Uh, the computers can fold up, move out of the way, and then you can store all of your sails on top of it or whatever you need to do in this area. Uh, while sailing, this area becomes pretty much a storage area. The area to the left or to the port side area right here is a cushion uh, you can sit on and read whatever you need to do while someone's working in the workstation remove the cushion and it becomes a workbench thank you for watching and have a great day oh.